Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make Ubuntu 22.04 look like Mac OS. I did this similar video about 20.04 a while back, and now I'm doing a 22.04 version. That video was actually a pretty good video. It got more views, likes, and comments than any of my other YouTube videos I've ever gotten. And since it was a popular topic, I decided to make a 22.04 version for those who are using 22.04. 22.04 is actually harder to make uh, look like Mac OS because when I go into the overview, this this square is what's there and you can't really customize it to be any different. You won't really be able to make it fully look like Mac OS on 22.04 as well as you were able to on 20.04. I'll show you how to do it as best as we possibly can. So first, we're going to go to the settings app. So search for the settings app. And now we are going to go into appearance and then scroll down to the dock. Now we're going to disable panel mode and move it to the bottom. So this is what, uh, this is more macOS looking. Uh, it's, that's just how it is on macOS. Next, we are going to close this and we are going to open the terminal. Here we are going to type uh, a command that will update our system. So we're going to do sudo apt update and then and and sudo apt upgrade dash y. So what is this command? We're just updating and making sure that all the packages are up to date just to fix it if anything won't let us install it just because it's not updated. So we're just updating, fetching the available updates and then actually applying those upgrades and then the dash y just says yes to those if it asks for any confirmations because we already know uh, that, that we're going to say yes. I didn't have any updates but you might um, and that just really depends. Now. I'm going to um, I'm going to paste this command. It will be in the description of this video, but I'm going to paste it. So basically, what we're doing here is we're installing GNOME Tweaks, GNOME Shell Extensions, and then the Extension Manager. So what is GNOME Tweaks? Well, it's an app that lets you change uh, themes and just some other tweaks inside GNOME that aren't in the Settings app. GNOME Shell Extensions adds support for extensions in the GNOME Shell, and then the Manager is just what you use to manage those extensions. You might have some of these installed, but just run this command just in case you don't. If you don't have them, it'll just tell you just like this. I already have all of those three installed. Now we're going to close this for now, and we're going to go to the extension manager. So search for manager, and you will see extension manager right here. We can now search for user themes and make sure that is enabled. If it's not enabled, just enable that, and then you will be good. Now that we've done that, we will open another terminal, and we will just install git, so sudo apt install git. You might have this installed already, but just in case you don't, this is just a package that's required to do some of the things that we're going to do in this video. It's already the newest version for me, so I can close this terminal window. So now we're just going to open up our web browser. I'm using Firefox, and we're going to paste this link into the box. This is the White Sur GTK theme, which will let us theme our GNOME shell. We're going to clone this repository, click on code, and then copy this link right here by clicking the copy button. Now we're going to open a terminal and type git clone and then paste that link with control shift V. The reason we had to do control shift V is just because we're in the terminal and control V does something else. Now we're going to CD white sir GTK theme. You can just start typing white and then click tab to autocomplete that. This folder was just created when we cloned the git repository. Now we're going to use ls and in here you can see we have some scripts. Installed.sh is what we're going to be using right now. So type dot slash install.sh, type dash t all, which will install all of the accent colors for the themes. If you don't wish to do that, you can actually choose which ones to install from this website. Um, but I'm just going to install all of the accent color for the themes. And this part is optional. You can do dash capital N and type glassy, which will make the Nautilus file manager. Uh, it'll make it a little bit uh, glassy. We'll click enter and we will wait for this to finish. This can take like a minute or two. Feel free to check out the GitHub repository for all of the options and themes and customizations that you can add. There are lots of different variants to what I'm doing in this video, and as you can see, the GDM theme for the lock screen can have like all of these different ways to, to uh, install it, so it's all different. 
my installation has just finished. Now we're going to run sudo tweaks.sh and make sure you have the dot slash in the beginning. Um, and if you wanted, you could do dash g, which changes the display manager theme, which is just like the lock screen for when you suspend or close the laptop lid of your computer or just do go to lock screen. That's just what that'll do. I'm not going to do that in this video, but you could do that and it'll be simple. Um, all the options for that are uh, in the GitHub repository where it says install and customize GDM theme. There's all the options for that argument, but I'm not going to be using dash g in this video. It has just uh, installed the themes in GNOME Tweaks, so now we should be good with that. Now we will go back to the GitHub repository and scroll down to the uh, white sear icon theme and we will click the download button here. Here we're going to clone this repository as well, so we will click this copy button. We will cd back into our home directory and then just do git clone and then paste that link into there. Here we can cd into this uh, icon theme directory and then uh, we can see that it says install.sh so we'll just do install.sh and it'll install the icon theme for us. Now it's time to set the wallpaper so we will go back into our uh, into the original repository and scroll all the way to the bottom where it says white sir wallpapers and we will click download. You can download a lot of these different wallpapers. We've got Monterey wallpapers um, and then a bunch of other ones as well. I'm going to choose this wallpaper. We will just save the image like we would with any wallpaper. Then we will open up Nautilus file manager, go to downloads and just uh, set as wallpaper. That'll change our wallpaper in the background, as you can see it right over here. Next, we will go into GNOME Tweaks, which we have installed before with the one, one of the commands we, we did earlier. So go to Tweaks, click on Appearance, and here we will change all of the themes. For some reason, when I upgraded to 22.04, the application option didn't go to the bottom and, and change to Legacy Applications. But for you, if it says legacy applications, that's pretty much the same thing as the applications option. So just do everything that I'm doing, but with the legacy applications. So we're gonna change applications to White Sur, and you can see all of these themes we have. This is because I chose to install all of the accent colors. We've got the light versions and the dark versions. I'm gonna go with the light versions, and I'm just gonna do the standard one without any specific accent color, which is just Light Sur White. You can see that it has just changed our application theme. Now we can uh, go to icons and change this to White Sur. Lastly, the shell theme will be changed to white sir as well and you can choose the corresponding accent color that you've chosen for your application theme for me i just chose white sir light so i will be doing that next we're going to install the cursor because uh, some people like to have their cursor changed as well this is definitely not required because the yaru cursor already looks like mac os a little bit but we're going to go to gnome look.org and search for mac os cursor Let's click on this macOS Monterey cursor. All of the links will be in the description, by the way, if you want this exact cursor and you can't find it. Here we will click the download option and we're going to click on macOS Monterey.targz. We will click show in folder. And this right here is our cursor theme. So we're gonna drop this into our home directory for a second. And now we're gonna do control H to show all hidden files. And we'll go to dot icons. This folder was created uh, when we installed our icon theme, but if you're ever installing icon themes without a script, you will always have to create the dot icon theme if it's not created already, and same goes for the dot themes, but they were already created for us before in this tutorial. So we're going to drop this into dot icons. We'll go into dot icons, and we will just right click and click extract here. We can now delete the original tar file. And now we can click on macOS Monterey. As you can see, we have our cursor theme in here and everything seems good. Once you go into GNOME Tweaks, you will realize that it's not going to show up in the cursor section. This is because you have to restart GNOME Tweaks to be able to get it to show. So just close it and go back in and change your cursor to macOS Monterey. As you can see, not much has changed, but some little things like the spinning wheel when it's loading and everything like that will be added, uh, and it's just the little things that remind you of macOS. Now it's time to install our system font for macOS. Last time when I had my 20.04 video on this, someone asked me if I could uh, do the fonts 
So I did give them a tutorial on that. There's a tutorial on changing fonts in Ubuntu on my channel. But here we're going to change our font to the macOS font, which is actually called SF Pro Display. I'll put this link in the description here. We have a lot of fonts in here, and the one that I'm going to pick is SF Pro Display Regular. We can click download on this file right here, and once it's downloaded, we'll click show in folder, and we'll just double click on this file. It'll open it in the fonts application. If it doesn't, just right click on it, click open with other application, and find fonts. Here you will see this window that shows our new font. We will have to click install to install the font. Once it has been installed, it will not show up yet. That's because you have to do it in GNOME Tweaks. Close GNOME Tweaks and reopen it so that it shows up. Now we'll go to the fonts section and go to interface text and search for SF. I have installed a lot of these fonts before, but the one I just installed was SF Pro Display Regular. Let's click select. And now we have macOS fonts. You can also change some window title bars and things like that. Just now I changed the interface text for most of our system. Now we're going to go to the extension manager, so search for manager, and go to the extension manager. Here we will click browse, and we will search for blur my shell, and we will click this blue install button. It'll ask you to install, and we will click install. So now we can go to the installed section, and click the settings gear for uh, blur my shell. Uh, make sure that the dash section is not enabled because it adds this really bad square around it and it's a little bit glitched. I hope this can be fixed in the future, but make sure that it's disabled, otherwise your dock will look really bad. On your panel, you will click Customize Properties and you can change some things in here. If you're using the light version of White Sur, you'll change the brightness up. You'll move it up and then uh, you can fiddle around with the sigma. This is just the intensity of the blur. So in macOS, it's really high. So you won't really be able to see that many lines of the actual image behind it. And if you're using the dark version, you will just have to slide this brightness slider down a little bit because that's how it acts in macOS. As you can see when we go into the overview, now we have this nice blur in the background. And if we go into our applications, it's also there as well. But if you want to make this look a little bit better, you can go to the overview section, click customize properties, and just make the brightness uh, higher. And there we will have a little bit of uh, a little higher brightness here on your icons and everything like that. And it just looks a little bit better in my opinion. Now, if you like, you can go to the, the GNOME Tweaks application, click window title bars, and move the placement to left. That's how it is in macOS. All of the title bars are on the left for all the applications. And if you're used to using macOS, that'll feel a little bit better since you don't have to go here and then realize that they're over here. And the last thing we're going to do is go to the extension manager, click browse, and then search for compas, I like, magic lamp effect, and you'll click install. Now, when you minimize your windows, it will minimize it like macOS uh, does. Instead of it just zooming back in, it does this macOS uh, similar feel to it. And if it doesn't do that, like like how it showed just now, you can uh, sometimes it defaults to this. One time it defaulted to that, even though it's called default. Um, but it defaulted to this one, and it just looks like this, which doesn't look like it at all. So, so that's why you're gonna have to go to default, and now it'll look better. So you'll be able to minimize it, just like it is in macOS. So here we have our macOS looking uh, system. So as you can see, we've got some nice icons here, um, and everything just looks uh, like macOS. So everything isn't perfect. If you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments section below. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.